Hey, it's Mike with TechPV.com, and today's show we're going to cover uh, macro line and fittings and Teflon tape and blue Loctite and all that stuff. It sounds kind of dumb and it sounds kind of corny, but at the same time, there's no way to get air from your ASA into your gun unless you have macro line and unless you have your fittings snugged up. Now, I know that a lot of people really like using uh, Teflon tape, okay? Teflon tape definitely serves its purpose. The only problem with it is it's really messy. Now, me personally, my favorite thing to use when I'm sealing gauges or fittings or fill nipples or anything is blue Loctite. It works amazing. All, I, all you need to do is put a drop on the threads and then just kind of work it around the threads and then screw that into the gun. Give that about 30 seconds to a minute to dry and air it up and it works as good if not better than Teflon tape. Now blue Loctite is not like red Loctite. Okay, blue Loctite is very easy to, to get loose. Uh, once you break it, it just kind of turns into powder. Red Loctite, if you use red Loctite, you're gonna need a torch to get that fitting off of your gun. So don't use red Loctite unless the manufacturer calls for it. It's used for other parts of the gun. It's more used for car engines. Blue Loctite is designed for air fittings. Now, another tip we're going to talk about today is the use of tri-flow. This is one of my favorite things to use um, when using uh, direct mount ASAs. Now, you guys that are Empire Mini owners, um, you know, Invert Mini owners, this is going to really come in handy, uh, is tri-flow. This is what you do. You just put a small drop on your tank threads and then screw it into your gun. Now the tri-flow is Teflon impregnated, so it's gonna dry, and the little bits of Teflon are gonna stay on your threads and inside of your ASA. It's gonna make it a lot easier to screw in and out. Um, especially you guys, smart parts, with smart parts putting those shitty ASAs on their shockers and their ions, this tri-flow is a freaking lifesaver. Take a little bit, put it on the threads, and then screw your tank in. Um, and I'll be like, oh, the tank's going to blow up. No, it's not going to blow up. You're putting it on the tank threads. You're not putting it in front of the O-ring. Pressure is here. Friction is back here, okay? On the tank threads, it's not going to cause your tank to blow up. The pressure is in front of the O-ring, not behind it, okay? Don't put tri-flow into your fill nipple. Don't use it for anything else. But a drop of tri-flow on the tank threads is not going to hurt anything. Um, the pressure is in front of the tank not behind it okay if you don't believe me take off your o-ring and then screw your tank in you're going to see all the pressure is going to blow out the back of the, the, the you know the back towards the tank so just put a drop on the threads and you'll be fine and like i said on the um the invert mini put a little drop of trifle on the threads your tank will screw right in okay now that we covered that let's talk about macro line now one of the worst things you can do with macro line is cut it with a pair of um, wire cutters or something along those lines. Okay, macro line, in order for it to seal properly, has to stay as perfectly round as possible. Now, the best thing I've ever found are these tubing cutters, and I believe these are made by Granger. You can find these at any uh, pneumatic store. I believe they run anywhere from about six to ten bucks. Um, if you have a, a uh, like a Granger or an SMC store near where you live, pick up these tubing cutters. They make perfect. 90 degree cuts in macro line every single time and it just looks so perfect and the seal you'll get from that will last forever. Um, now if you don't have access to one of these or you can't find any of these what they call tubing cutters, uh, the next best thing I'm going to tell you you can use is a razor blade. Very careful and um, what you just want to do is get yourself a cutting board, something safe, and then just take the razor blade and push it down onto the macro line and try to get as close as you can to a perfect uh, perpendicular cut on the macro line. That's why you want to use the razor blade. You don't want to use wire cutters because you're going to end up crimping it and it's going to leak like crazy. Now another thing that you can use too is you don't really want to use box cutters. Those are meant for cutting cardboard. You don't want the blade to snap off and go flying through the air. Okay, But carpet, um, carpet razor blades also work pretty well. Once again, get yourself a cutting board and just press straight down and it makes a nice perfect cut nice 90 degree cut um, so cutting macro line now when you go to fit macro line on a gun like this the best thing you can do 
is start off and cut the piece a little bit longer and then shave it back. One of the worst things you can do is cut a short piece and then you're stuck. So make sure that you cut yourself an extra long piece first, allow yourself a little bit of room for it to bend. There you go. And that's a perfect cut piece of macro line. Now I'm going to show you guys something really cool about fittings. And a lot of people don't realize this. Okay, this is a critical ASA. And I can't tell for the life of me what size Allen key this is. I want to say it's a 3 16 It's the same one that you used to adjust the regulators on the die and the torpedo. Very common Allen key. But as you see here, the straight fittings actually have a way, uh, uh, actually have a macro, uh, I'm sorry, a, a hex um, socket inside there for you to remove the macro line. Watch this. We'll go ahead and put the, put the, put the, the uh, Allen key into it and watch this. We can now unscrew it. There we go. And now it comes out. I wanted to show this to you because a lot of people don't realize that the straight macro line uh, fittings actually have an Allen key on there. So you can see that the, uh, the Allen key fits perfectly into that straight fitting. So just a little tip, uh, something that I learned a few years ago, um, just by coincidence that I stuck an Allen key in there and it fits. So something really cool, the, uh, the straight fittings, you can stick an Allen key in there. And uh, this will prevent you from trying to grab the outside of your um, grab the outside of your uh, fitting there and stripping it. And then what we'll do here is we'll just put a little bit of um, blue Loctite on it. Put it down into the uh, into the ASA. There we go. Okay, and the same thing with this fitting here too. If we wanted to remove this fitting, the, Allen, the straight fitting there, the Allen key does go inside there and you can just unscrew it. Um, hopefully that should cover just about everything with uh, fittings and macro line. Now the best place that I've found online, and coincidentally you can buy Triflow there for super cheap and you can also buy macro line there for super cheap, is macrolineguy.com. The guy's got some of the best macro line. It's got a nice big hole in it, so it's very, uh, uh, very high flow, it's easy to maneuver, it's not that super stiff macro line that you sometimes see. It's very easy to twist and bend. He's got macro line, he's also got Dow 33, Dow 55, I think he's got hater sauce. Uh, what else has he got there? Sleek lube, slick honey, he's got just about everything. So definitely go and check out macrolineguy.com. Guy is awesome, he's got all of this. So just to recap really quick, um, stop using the, uh, stop using um, Teflon tape, start using blue Loctite. You can get this at Home Depot. You can even get this at uh, Discount Auto Parts. You can get the blue Loctite just about anywhere. Use that from your fittings from now on. It's, it works a lot better. It gives a much better seal and it's not as messy as Teflon tape. Um, make nice 90 degree cuts you, with your macro line. Use uh, TriFlow on your tank threads. If you use a direct mount ASA, you don't really need to do that if you're using an on-off. Um, but that'll cut down on a lot of the friction. And, uh...